India stages MK1A and upcoming MK2 fighters are gathering global interest, from Argentina to Egypt. But there's a catch. Both rely entirely on US-made GE engines, making exports subject to American approval under it. That means even if a friendly country offers billions, Washington can veto any deal. India controls the airframes, but not the engine, and not the export license. Analysts IU export ambitions are effectively shackled by foreign engine. Enter Kaveri 2.0, India's plan to build a self-reliant jet engine. Developed by GTRE with modern tech and foreign inputs, it promises approximately 90 kN of thrust, enough to power both MK1A and MK2. A home engine means autonomous exports. Landing a global fighter sale isn't just prestige, it's industrial scale, revenue, and global positioning. With Kaveri, India joins rare engine producing nations. And private players could scale Kaveri variants for UCAVs and next-gen jets. What if Kaveri succeeds, and Tejas flies with it next year? India could sell without export clearances, rival Korea's KF-21, and offer full maintenance deals. But if US engine dependence continues, expect governments to hesitate, and India to lose billions and strategic footholds. For more such insights, subscribe to India Today.